Hey guys, June Bone will be here bringing you a. Wait, wait, what? What? No! There we go. Bringing you a car robots review. And uh, here I got Experon, or Wild Ride, I guess you could say. Um, don't mind uh, Ironhide, he's uh, He's lonely. He misses Chromia. Don't worry, man. I'll find her for you. I'll find her for you. Anyway, um, yeah, here I got Wild Ride in his packaging, just like I got with God Magnus. Um, his brother Sideburn is currently in robot mode. So, yeah, we, we'll see him li later on. I'm just gonna put him back over here. Um, I, I really like his. Oh my god. Something fell. Yeah, I really like his packaging. Uh, I like all the car robot packaging. I'm gonna take care of Look, uh, it, That's where his instructions and the catalog would go, but I have that. There's in a, a box. So, I don't lose them. That's his card. I don't want to take that out. I want to keep that in there. I've been wanting to just to look at it. Because, um, if I find... Yeah, God Magnus's wasn't like that. It's already folded. I'm, I'm I can't even read Japanese. I don't know why I want to take it out. I just want to. Like, really bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm not going to. Yeah, um, so let, let's take him out of the package and see what we get. All right, guys, we're back. Wait, wait uh, Ironhide. I, God, you Sorry. Um, there's Experon. So, yeah, we got him out of the packaging, and uh, very cool. He rolls very well because of the rubber wheels. They were cracked, but I actually fixed it with a little bit of super glue. You can see it right there, how it fixed it. I just took a, um, some super glue and a thumbtack, and I... Put super glue on the thumbtack and I just went down through it. And now there's no more cracks. There's like really bad ones too. Like especially on this wheel. I don't know if you can see it. There are cracks and I, I fix those though. So yeah, he rolls very well. Like I just said. Um, here's a size comparison if you wanted to know. Human Alliance dude. He's bigger than the dude. Um, the doors can open. You sort of have to fiddle around down at the bottom to get them to open, but they, they can open on both sides. So you can, like, pretend, like, hey, I'm going for a ride. Oh my god, there's a robot head in the car! Yeah, um, x Bronze head is in there. Just like it was on the TV show, Robots in Disguise, and, uh, this, these toys were originally based in Japan, and that's where you sit. Um, that's the side you sit on in Japan, so that, that's pretty cool. There's no interior design, but I still think that's kind of cool. You can turn little dudes in there with a big head. Oh my god, I hit the back of the wall. So, yeah. Uh, again, Cyburn is in uh, robot mode, so we'll just put them back there for display pur pur the purposes. So, yeah, um, transform them. You want to start by taking off these missiles and bars. And we'll use those later on. Um, if you want, you can take off this bar here. And uh, then it's just like a normal SUV. With no design whatsoever. Yeah. Normal, normal SUV. We'll put those over there by Cyber. Okay, transforming. We'll start by opening up the doors. And uh, pulling out this little crotch piece. And separating the legs. You won't do this because when I damp separate that, this piece came off and I thought I broke it. So... You want to pull out his legs. They're like folded up in there. You just want to fold them up. And take these little pieces here around the tire. Well, the half of the tire. And uh, fold them up. So yeah. Big dude. So no, he's not actually. Um, I forgot something I forgot to show you. I always forget to do this every time I try to do this review. You can open up the front and there's a little engine in there. It doesn't come out in form a gun, but, uh, yeah, that's cool. He was one of the first figures to have that feature. Sideburn sort of has it, but it's popping out of the front, so, yeah. Um, you want to sort of unfold his arm out. And just, uh, turn it. 
take this piece here. Actually, no. no, 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 no. Take the crotch piece and rotate down like that. Fold this out. Fold this forward. And then you guys arm. Like that. You can't put it like that if you want elbow articulation, but that just looks better. Um, take this we'll take this back roof piece and fold it like that. And go over here and take this wheel and push it up. That uh, will reveal his hand and fold it up. And you just want to flip out his head. You didn't see that. Oh, hit the camera. <laughs> this head's folded up back there. You want to just uh, fold that up and rotate it. And there you go. You got X Prime. Now, his accessories, which we took off earlier. Um, Th these two pieces are both missiles, so you can... I, I like using this one as the missile, but they can both go in here. They both shoot very well, so you can like uh, have them shoot sideburn in the face or something. Or, um, better yet, let me put it back in here. Better yet, we, we can have them shoot a Ke Kevin Flynn in the face. Yeah, I'm sorry, my desk is like a mess right now, so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, so we got these, and he's got this, which, uh, you can do this with all these, I don't really like doing it with this, but you can, his, one of his articulation points is in his thumb, so you can flip it up and you can have a thumbs up, people are like, yeah, good job, but, uh, yeah, you can just, uh, you can put this in there, I don't really like to, because you have to sort of get the back of the fist underneath this part right here and I don't want to scratch it up so I don't really use that I just keep it stored back where it was and there's his Autobot symbol by the way so yeah and then this you can I like doing it with this one if I ever do it that can go in there and you can use like a cutting tool but I don't really put things in there and on the show he had these back here like that. I don't like that. I just put this missile right here. And on the box, I'm not going to bring it out, but on the card, it had this missile right there on his arm. And I looked at the back of the box, or on, on the instructions, I think, and it said you can put this right here. So, because there's a little hole right there, a tab. Goes in there. It's kind of loose, but it's tighter than this one. So that, that's that's kind of cool. So yeah, um, here's a size comparison with his brother, Sideburn. We can straighten out his leg here. Hold on. Um, it's Legends Hunt for Decepticon. Legends Class uh, Sandstorm. G1 Bumblebee. And the guy who fell earlier, Generations Optimus Prime. And you can't really tell. So, yeah. I think over the ages, and I forgot to show you this, but um, x -Bron and the, all the robots in the sky's car modes are smaller than today's um, vehicles, like this guy, like their car modes or something. And it was like that with G1 too, because these I think got bigger than the G1 cars, because I remember all the G1 car bots were really small. But anyway, that 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 that's just my theory that the cars are getting bigger. So yeah, this is the G1 Bumblebee with Transformers. Car Robots Wild Ride or Robots in the Skies x -Bron. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya. So yeah. Oh my god, Ironhide!